there's a lot of talk about embroidery being an old pastime. For me, it's just what it is. It's what I've been doing for 20 years. It's not the slow, sort of calm, sitting by the fireside occupation that people might think it is. It's actually, you know, I use a sewing machine to draw and it's actually a very fast and physically demanding medium. I never anticipated that I would be using a medium that is quite unusual. And even now when people ask me what I do, I find it hard to make that connection between the sewing machine and what I'm actually doing. The age old thing is people ask me to take up their trousers or to darn their socks. And obviously I, as when it comes to making clothes and I do none of that whatsoever, it's literally using a machine in its most intuitive and spontaneous way. It's very much about making something from nothing, about how you can create surfaces and colours and depth and movement on a blank piece of canvas from absolutely nothing. You can start very simply and it grows. We're on the, the farm that's been in my family for five generations, which is quite amazing really, you know. Um, I'm very privileged to have come from such a historic background. I always knew that at some point in my life I would do an important piece of work here. So Collect has been the most amazing opportunity because it, it has been a chance to create a sequence, a series of works, five one metre ten canvases that are completely based on this random idea which, you know, has pretty much sprung from 18 years of working. Life would, would not be the same without masking tape. Get through rolls of the stuff. I've stitched the drawing and now I'm building up applique layers. So it's a case of using lots of exciting or neutral fabrics. So this is the the last one that I am working on for Collect and have been working for six months on this project. The story of the tumbleweed is that it fractures at its roots and then starts to spin across um, what is usually an arid landscape. So it goes from being this humble tumbleweed, breaking off and almost as a dead, lifeless, humble thing, it then tumbles through the arid landscape of your mind. And as it does so, the idea, the creativity grows. It doesn't turn into a spinning thing, it turns into a flying thing. So it's not just things that grow from things, but things that land and collect things, lifting things, turning into wings, an angel-like being. This is definitely the most ambitious project I've ever done. I have given this project every part of myself. I've had to go from something that's still to something that's flying. So the drawing process was really important. This mess of brittleness. How can I simplify that down but still maintain the quality of a tumbleweed? You know, how can I make something that looks three-dimensional even though it's linear and flat. I wanted the project to be sexy, so I wanted to get things that were almost a bit edgy for the project. For the first time, I've used this black PVC. I love the fact that it's got this shiny, almost kinky quality. It really is about having fun with colour and texture and pushing the boundaries all the time of creating something original. The challenge I've made myself is to make embroidery exciting, you know, to make it look fast for it to be, for it to grab people by the balls. I want people to look at my work and to be blown away by it. I want them to almost want to move, to move along the sequence and to kind of be 
excited by it and to feel oh, about life and kind of, because that's what I'm like as a person, I suppose. I've got this one last one to do, this last leg, and I, before I've even really got going on it, I feel totally shattered. But the thought of standing in front of it in the gallery is so exciting. I just can't, I can't wait.